Yankees and Red Sox, Madison Bumgarner making his second Yankee start, his first at the stadium. Had a clean 1-2-3 first, but in the top of the second, Rafael Devers brings home Justin Smoke as he triples into the left center field gap, taking an awkward carom off the wall, bringing home the first run of the game and giving Boston a 1-0 lead. Both of these teams caught up in that very busy playoff race in the American League East, as you see, the, th the throw was not in time. The wild card battle getting crazy with the Yankees, Boston, Houston, and others. Then top of the second still, Jackie Bradley Jr., next man up, and he hits a rope to right field, keeps it fair, just misses the second deck, and the Red Sox go up 3-0, and Bumgarner not having a best first start in the Bronx. But then the Yankees get some insurance against David Price as Rafael Devers couldn't field an easy grounder at third, it ends up being ruled a single. Springer brings home the run, and it's 3-2. to two. Then bottom of the fourth, more George Springer. Here he drills one to right field. This one goes over the wall for his 25th home run of the season. Springer also second in the American League in batting average, only behind Mike Trout. It's 4-3, but then Boston comes back. A, a run in the fifth to tie the game, then two more in the sixth. Christian Vasquez, the catcher, with an RBI single to chase Bumgarner from the game, gives up six runs in five and a third innings. But the Yankees come back again, now against the Red Sox bullpen, as that's a single off of Brian Johnson from Springer to make it 6-5. Then IKF gets jammed by Tanner Houck, but it's going to bring home a run nonetheless. Castellano scores to tie the game at 6 and then the big swing, John Carlos Stanton, number 36 in the year. He knew it right off the bat. 460 feet deep into left center field off of Tanner Houck. And the Yankees go up 9-6 to six after trailing in this game on three separate occasions. Then bottom of the eighth, Yankees ice it. Brandon Drury, who's been red hot ever since the All-Star break, with the bases loaded, comes through with a two-run single to make it 11-6. And then Aroldis Chapman finishes the game in the ninth, striking out J.D. Martinez with a runner at second base. And the Yankees take this one 11-6, the final score in the Bronx.